hello friends welcome to the part 4 series of the engine assembly now in this episode you will see the assembly of the blockhead and uh, the timing chain sprocket and adjusting the timing and how the timing is adjusted as you have seen in the previous uh, video that we have uh, put in the magnets uh, and we have also adjusted the timing uh, with the top dead center now after tightening it we are going to uh, move into the uh, assembly of the blockhead and you will see how the blockhead is being uh, assembled now you can see he is uh, putting the timing chain tensioner and making sure everything is all right the timing chain tensioner will uh, keep the timing chain in tension always and it will prevent uh, any catastrophic failure of uh, the timing of the engine or any other part of the engine now it's uh, time to assemble the blockhead now before assembly the gasket sealant will be applied on both the surfaces on the blockhead as well as on the cylinder and then the gasket sealant is also the silicone sealer actually um, also will be applied on both the surface of the gasket and then it will be placed into its position and then the blockhead will be uh, slide along the bolts You can see how the silicone sealer is applied on both the surfaces uh, on the back side and the front side of the gasket. Now this gasket is not a paper gasket actually. It's a copper uh, gasket. It's painted black. You can see the timing chain on the crankshaft. the blockhead is gently pushed into its place and you can see a little bit of tap here and there fits it into its place is making sure it has a close fitting before tightening up all the four bolts Now you can see the timing chain is going to be fitted. Now the most important thing before 
fitting the timing chain is uh, that you need to align uh, both the crankshaft and the camshaft in a particular position you can see there's a mark on the timing chain uh, sprocket and there is a keyway groove cut into uh, the camshaft now uh, when the timing chain sprocket fits into this uh, keyway uh, shaft and the marking on the timing chain gear or the sprocket uh, should be uh, pointing upward now what I mean by upward is uh, in the line of the movement of the piston so the movement of the piston suppose it's up and down so the marking will be pointing upside or upward I'll show you uh, later where the mark on the blockhead is where it should be aligned now while uh, the sprocket is being aligned at the same time the magnet or the flywheel on the other side where there's a mark uh, on the magnet which is marked as T should also be aligned with the crankcase and it should be hold uh, in that position and you should uh, you should make sure that uh, the in the crank crankshaft doesn't rotate from that position so we have someone who is holding uh, the crankshaft in that position and locking it in that place and and on the same time uh, the timing chain sprocket here is aligned with the mark on the case so when both the marks are aligned then we can say the timing is perfect now you can see the marking in this side so he is making sure that the timing is perfect he is aligning the mark on this side and at the same time he is aligning the mark on the other side which is in the blockhead now we did had a few problem while aligning it suppose you can see you can see right now it's not aligned perfectly because on that side the marking is aligned but on this side you can see it's completely 90 degree offset so he will open this sprocket again and then he will align it uh, along the line of the piston movement of the piston well we did uh, spend some time aligning the timing chain gears now you can see everything is in perfect alignment now the nut is been and uh, the bolt is been placed and tightened you can see it's a guard or a bell shaped uh, thing is here i don't know what is the purpose of this type of washer here is maybe it prevents uh, the chain from coming off but it doesn't make any sense if you know how uh, what is the purpose of this thing you can uh, tell me in the comment box below but as far as I think it's just something that prevents uh, the timing chain 
from uh, falling off maybe but here it's working as a washer you can see he's showing the alignment here you can see this tiny mark is the mark that should be aligned with this mark here and on the other side on the magnet the mark T should be aligned with the mark on uh, the, the, the crankcase that I've shown you in my previous video so this is the mark actually so this is the end of part 4 I hope you have enjoyed this video if so uh, please like and share this video and if you want to know something then you can also comment and ask uh, what you want to know about so thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to subscribe like and share my channel like subscription actually motivates me to keep working so thank you have a nice day and part 5 is coming soon